Hello and welcome to Gangta News of Gangta Radio and Television Station. Here are today headlines. Mechanisms and policies for the development of Da Nang City and Ngang Province discussed by the National Assembly. A hybrid conference to announce the results of the ninth conference of the 13th Party Central Committee. May regular meeting of Gangta City People's Committee, chaired by the chairman of Gangta City People's Committee. Top news today. During May 31st meeting, the National Assembly discussed the draft resolution on piloting additional mechanisms and policies for the development of Nghe Eng Province and the draft resolution on some specific mechanisms and policies for the development of Da Nang City. According to the government's proposal, to facilitate Nghe Eng Province in obtaining additional resources and authority to effectively carry out the social economic development test aside in Resolution No. 39 of the Bolivarol. It is imperative to implement the National Assembly's resolution on piloting and supplementing specific mechanisms and policies tailored for the development of Nghe Eng Province. The objective of the other policy is to establish an urban government model in Da Nang City that emphasizes streamlining, efficiency and effectiveness. This model aims to ensure flexibility and smooth operation processes, meeting the demands of successful development for the city dynamically and creatively in the new era. Additionally, the policy aims to enhance the autonomy and self-responsibility of urban authorities, mobilize on available resources for sustainable development, and foster the creation of civilized and modern urban centers. In addition, the draft resolution also proposes to establish the Department of Food Safety as a specialized agency under the People's Committee of Da Nang City. On May 31st morning, the Standing Committee of Gangta City Party Committee organized a hybrid conference to announce the results of the ninth conference of the 13 Party Central Committee and implemented Regulation No. 144, dated May 9, 2024, of the Polibro, which outlines the ethical standards for caterers and party members in the new period. Accordingly, the conference reached a high consensus on the guiding ideology and orientation for completing several key documents. The detailed outline of the political report of the 13 Party Central Committee for the 14 National Congress of the Party, the detailed outline of the five-year report on the implementation of the 10-year Social Economic Development Strategy 2021 to 2030 and the five-year Social Economic Development Plan for the period of 2026 to 2030. The outline report summarizing the work of party building and the implementation of the party charter to be submitted to the 14 party congress. The project summarizing directive number 35 dated May 30, 2019 of the Polibro and the draft directive of the Polibro on party congresses at all levels leading up to the 14 party congress. The report on the results of inspection, supervision and enforcement of party discipline in 2023 along with directions and tasks for 2024 and personal work and some other important issues. The May regular meeting of Gangta City People's Committee took place on the afternoon of May 30. The chairman of Gangta City People's Committee, Mr. Zheng Vik Chung, and leaders of departments and agencies came for attendance. The city's social economic position maintained its growth rate in May and throughout the first five months of this year, with numerous economic indicators showing increases from both the previous month and the same period last year. The industrial output index is predicted to raise by more than 5% compared to the last year and by 7.51% compared to the previous month. Total revenue from retail sales of goods and services is expected to reach nearly 11,900 billion Vietnamese stone, marking an approximately 22% increase from the same period last year and over 5% from the previous month. The city welcomed 550,000 visitors in May, bringing the total number of visitors in the first five months of the year to nearly 3.31 million, a 6% increase year over year. Tourism revenue for the month is expected to be 451 billion Vietnamese stone, with total revenue from the start of the year approaching 3 trillion Vietnamese stone, a 10% increase from the same period last year and 49% of the annual plan. 
On the afternoon of May 30, Gang Thai Investment Treat and Exhibition Promotion Center and representatives and branches, the City Business Association received and worked with the working delegation of Thổ Đức City, Ho Chi Minh City. At the conference, Gang Thai City and Thổ Đức City showcased their potential, advantages, investment prospects, policies, and orientations to attract investment. Gang Thai City is appealing to firms, including those from Thổ Đức City, to invest in its 56 projects spanning commerce, services, infrastructures, transportation, supporting industries, processing technology, manufacturing, logistics, and environmental sectors. Thổ City targets businesses interested in industries such as logistics, domestic goods distribution, auxiliary machinery and equipment, and agricultural and aquatic product production. Notably, businesses in Thổ City are particularly drawn to Gang Thai City's favorable investment policies, especially the tax exemption and reduction programs for companies establishing operations in industrial parks. The People's Committee of Gang Thai City has set ambitious goals in its plan to implement the crop development strategy until 2030 with a vision to 2050. The target includes achieving an average production value of 200 million Vietnam dong per hectare of cultivated land and ensuring that 100% of the growing area in the concentrated production zone has an established planting area code. By 2030, the average annual growth rate of crop production value is targeted to be 2.2 to 2.5 percent, while the average annual growth rate of added value in the crop processing industry is projected to be 8 to 10 percent. Additionally, 10 to 15 percent of the production area will practice good agricultural practices, feed gap and equivalent, with 1 percent dedicated to organic farming. The value of crop products purchased through forms of operation and association is expected to reach 30 to 35 percent. To achieve these goals, the city has proposed various groups of solutions for focused implementation. Key measures include the effective implementation of the law on crop production, investment in synchronous technical infrastructure, and the organization of good linkages within specialized farming areas. The chairman of the City People's Committee has just sent an official dispatch to units and localities to strengthen inspection and supervision of environmental protection work at temporary waste collection points in the city. To effectively address the problem of environmental pollution and foul odors impacting residents' life and activities, the chairman of the City People's Committee has mandated that Ninkyu and Gairang districts form an inspection team. These districts are also required to enhance the supervision of environmental sanitation during waste collection, transportation, and temporary waste collection points within their management areas. The chairman also requested a report on the results of the implementation by June 10. The report should detail the efforts to completely resolve environmental pollutions, eliminate foul odors, and mitigate the impact on the lives and activities of residential areas. This includes nearby settlements such as the Thái Nhật Tu resettlement areas, the garbage collection point under Hưng Lai Bridge, and the Hưng Phu residential area. This year, National High School exit exam will take place from June 26 to 29, with 12,887 test takers registered in Gang Thơ City. The city's departments, branches, and organizations have proactively prepared the necessary conditions and resources to support the exam. According to the Department of Education and Training, out of the 12,887 registered candidates, 10,923 are current 12th grade high school students, 992 are in continuing education, and the remaining are independent candidates. The city plans to organize 25 official testing locations with 549 testing rooms along with the 9 backup testing locations across 9 districts. Additionally, the city police will deploy over 120 officers to assist with the exam. The health center has directed hospital and district medical centers to prepare resources for the health care of exam invigilators and candidates, ensure disease prevention and maintain food safety and hygiene. From now until one week before the exam date, 
The education sector will inspect the preparation efforts at educational institutions. This includes reviewing students' readiness, ensuring facilities and equipment are adequately prepared, organizing comprehensive general tests for each unit, and conducting tests and assessments by the Department of Education and Training. Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.